Hi guys, this is Avinash Sharma and in this video we will discuss using the chat GPT API how to create the AI chatbot with the custom knowledge. Custom knowledge means like we will create our own data in text file then we will use the, those text file for answering the chatbot. Before we start the practical of the custom knowledge based AI chatbot we have to understand some terms because we are using these terms in our practical LLM large language model this LLM it's an AI and it's a term that refers to AI model and that AI model can produce or generate the natural language from a large number of data it means it can process the large number of data at very high speed because it uses the deep neural networks deep neural network means we have a brain and our brain suppose we have a neural system in neural system we have the billions or trillion cells and these cells interact with each other the same way deep neural networks has been modeled so LLM used that model and that model can learn or we can train that model from the billions or trillions of words to produce a result in natural language some example of the large language model are the GPT-3, BRT, XLNet next is the lama index lama index basically it's a library or it's a toolkit this toolkit help us to connect the external data we need this because we would be creating the external data in text file so for connecting those text files we would be using this toolkit also this lama index create the index form from the external data and as we know index data reduces the access time it means the index data can be read faster than the normal data now we check the steps for creating the custom knowledge based AI chatbot the first step is the prompt helper because first of all we we have to configure the tokens the minimum tokens the maximum tokens all these configuration so for this purpose we have the prompt helper function as you can see the lama index dot index prompt helper dot prompt helper in the second step LLM predictor in this configuration we configure the say temperature or model name which model we are using AI model then maximum tokens and after that we are creating the service context service context it's like a uh, container and in this service co contain, uh, container we have to pass these two parameters the prompt helper and the LLM predictor then next step we read the documents as we discussed we would be creating our own custom data in a text format so first of all we, we will read those data from the text file and finally GPT simple vector index this function create the index from the data because it takes the two parameter the service context and the then document it create the index from the large data then it saves that data in a JSON format it's like like suppose we have a very a big book or large book and to reach a particular page or particular title then we check the index back set from the the same way it creates an index and finally then when we carry the chatbot then it reads the answer from that index data now before we start the practical first of all we check our custom data so our path is the documents in documents we have the test data folder and there are two text file custom data 1 custom data 2 first of all we check the first one custom data and in this data file we have very few questions and answer the first question is the thank you for taking the time to talk with me today can you tell me about yourself so this is the simple conversation and there are some question and answer say what is your business the software development what is your location and then we have the address in the second one we have only one question how can we be a data analyst then answer is you need depth knowledge of the SQL Server and the Power BI 
so there are two files and three to four question uh, answer so we will take this data and embed in the our custom ai chatbot then when you call like you when query your question the chatbot will answer will produce the answer from this text data now we check the code for creating the ai chatbot custom knowledge base so first of all we are importing lama index as we discussed and simple directory readers then the gp this index readers all these classes then we have like we are importing sys and of os and in the os dot environment we are setting the our api key then we have a function that is the name is the create data index in this function this function is accepting one parameter the name is the doc document path now we have the uh, token configuration maximum input size number of outputs and the maximum chunk and chunk size limit this is the configuration for the tokens used by the ai then prompt helper class as we discussed this class uh, configure the tokens and we are passing this all the these parameters maximum number of output these ones then second one is the llm predictors and this uh, uh, class configure the model so uh, we have the temperature zero find then the model name it's a text dimension and you can take any other models uh, then max tokens number of outputs so we have taken from this here then next in the documents simple directory uh, reader and then we have the document path this is the path from this parameter so this documents will read and load the data what we have created so uh, in this uh, so we have the two files as we discussed and then service context as we discussed service context is a uh, container and this container accept two parameters the prompt helper and the model uh, model configuration that is the llm that is the llm uh, predictor and then we have the gpt simple vector index this one this uh, read the data from the document and convert the data into the vector form so this is accepting the documents from this one and the uh, instance of the service context again service context has two parameter then finally this is saving this one and name is the index data dot json now we have the another function and uh, may i help you i uh, i named it may i help you so in this function we are using again gpt simple vector index and we are loading the data uh, previously saved from the same file index data dot json then while true we have a query input what do you want then you type a question and response equal to index dot query then it query the data it query your question and get the data what we have in our files then we get the answer from that now we run the program and now call this function create data index and in this function we are passing the path for our documents then run this one so we have the message total embedding total usage 137 now we call this may i help you now question who are you the answer is i am the ceo of the abc company a software development company located in this address sector 44 now we check the document this is our question answer and the response has been generated from all of all the words combining even like address this location gautam bodh nagar noida then the software company everything now if we try the exact question say what is your business if we try the this what is your business then answer is software development this is the exact answer if we check our no. what is your business then it's a software development so this is how 
you can create your own database and train the AI chatbot. So guys, this was all about the custom knowledge based AI chatbot. Thanks for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe the channel.